Mario, you just got rebuked. God himself has sent you a warning. He has rebuked you. You are out of line. You need to stop your rebellion. And I can prove it. 100%. We get this used car. But once again, I got into an accident. This time I was driving yesterday to go meet someone from the faith family to have a coffee and to just fellowship. And on the way there, I'm driving on the highway and there's a truck ahead of me. And I'm noticing, wait a second, there's a ladder behind there that's kind of wobbly and it doesn't seem to be tied down. And before I know it, this ladder flies off the truck and lands right in front of me. I had no choice but to either smash into this ladder that's now on the highway or go into the ditch. So I smashed over that. I tried to signal with um, my brights to the person who, you know, was responsible for this to pull over, but they ran off. So basically, it's a hit and run. Guess what? It's also a message from God. Genesis 28, 10 through 18. And Jacob went out from Beersheba and went toward Haran. And he lighted upon a certain place and tarried there all night, because the sun was set. And he took of the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac. The land whereon thou liest, liest to thee will I give it into thy seed. Now before I go into this, The ladder, in this case, is used to get his attention. Okay? Notice how he's saying he was on his way to meet someone from his cult, his faith family cult, and fellowship over coffee. And this stopped it. The spiritual realm just told you you are not called. You are not called to preach. You are not being led by God. Therefore, God has stopped you. You are not where you are supposed to be. You are taking matters into your own hands. Because this one, we see it. It's just the opposite. He's right where he should be. And thy sea shall be as the dust of the earth, and thou shalt spread abroad to the west, and to the east, and to the north, and to the south. And in thee, and in thy seed, shall all the families of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all... Look at this, that's Jesus right there. In thy sea shall all families of the earth be blessed. That's Jesus. Jesus coming from David. David came from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Behold, I am with thee, and will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not leave thee until I have done that which I have spoken to thee of. Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I knew it not. And he was afraid and said, How dreadful is this place? There is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. And Jacob rose up early in the morning and took the stone that he had put for his pillows and set it up for a pillar and poured oil upon the top of it. Now, now pouring oil is an anointing. He anointed it. This guy uses this, goes into his channel, and starts talking about Job. Oh, Job was sorrowful. He took everything you had away. You're going to have seasons like this. He's getting the wrong message from this. And even later in the video, where was it? It was about nine. He gets really upset. 100 bucks into it so I can share how to stand firm in this. Cool. No, 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 no. Let's That's back. awesome. Let's back what a privilege. What a and I'm going to slow this down so you can really see. It happens so that I can make this video. How amazing. <laughs> Try.
trying not to cry. And if I have to have a ladder fly off on the road and smack my car and put a couple hundred bucks into it so I can share how to stand firm in this, cool. That's awesome. What a privilege. What a blessing it is that my car is damaged today because this video would not exist had that not happened. You see how amazing God is sometimes when we don't live for self? Amazing. So that he is angry right now. He is ready to lash out. You know, it's it's no surprise. This is the second accident he's gotten into. It's no surprise the cat we heard he was abusing ran away from him. God's trying to wake him up, who the Lord loves, he rebukes and chastens. And this man has been rebuked many times. Many, many, many times. And you see the anger in his face. Sure enough, he's going out here. We've talked before about, uh, let's go over here to the side where you can see it. Um, his his uh, 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 T-shirts he's selling. His please consider supporting the member ministry. And this is how he's conditioned his audience. Okay, and I, when I saw this, thankfully, the person who sent this to me, I looked at this and I noticed this. I took the screenshot. Do you have a PayPal account, Mario? Maybe a little help would make you happy. His own cult knows all he cares about is money. He's like, yeah, it's in my pinned comment. But you really don't have to. Really? Really, you don't have to? That's how manipulation works, and he is big time manipulating his audience. That's all this is. The latter had angels ascending and descending on it. He saw that it was coming before it happened. And we've seen many videos. We've told him years ago, pleaded with him, to stop making videos while he's driving. He's like, oh, I almost got into a wreck. Almost hit a squirrel. And all he's doing is driving while looking at his phone. His cop buddy, diligent, did that. Just irresponsible. And he thinks he's called to preach. And when he's going somewhere to preach, God stops him. You got warned. And you, your anger has manifested itself. Your heart is not right. Acts tells us the apostles were beaten, put in prison, commanded not to preach the word of God, and beaten again. And it says they went on their way rejoicing, for they were counted worthy to suffer for the kingdom of God. Of God and they were counted worthy to suffer in Jesus's name and you just saw him huffing and puffing trying not to cry the first wreck he got into he was crying he's not using this as a message trying to encourage and inspire He's using this as an opportunity to get more money. So he's going to have to fix his car up. You need to repent, Mario, big time. This is your warning from God himself that you need to end your wicked ways you need to stop preaching when you don't know what you're talking about. You are not led by God. God is trying to stop you from preaching and spreading your ignorance. 
You need to repent and truly surrender to the Holy Spirit. And all you, you stop being a cult leader. All right, stop being a pedophile cult leader and truly turn to God because you're on the way to hellfire. You're on your way to eternal damnation in the eternal lake of fire if you don't repent right now. And that goes for all you fanboys of him, all you cult members of him. You're going to be right there with them in hell, in the lake of fire. If you do not stop listening to this man, if you keep refusing to pick up your Bible, your King James, hard copy King James Bible, friends, make sure Mario sees this. Because he needs to wake up and turn to Jesus Christ with all of his heart. Not just what he shows for the camera. Oh, I, 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 if he goes and he, uh, he does a live show, I'll record it. I sure will. Let's see how he goes this time. I'm sure he's going to be making a bunch of money. He's going to, let's see how he manipulates people this time. Mario? You need to repent now. You ain't going to be lucky. The, ne you, you, the next time you get rebuked by God, you may not be as lucky. I'm telling you right now, you need to repent and turn to Jesus Christ now, you fraud.